Welcome to Amateur Domestic Goddess. Today we are once again with the Good Housekeeping Cookbook of 1963 and we are making beef bourguignon. Hopefully I haven't butchered that and Americanized that, but I, I think that's how you pronounce it, beef bourguignon. This is from the dieter section. You need a pound of round steak, all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of butter or margarine, three tablespoons of cognac, one clove of garlic, minced, two carrots, two cups of celery, one cup of onions, tablespoon of dried parsley, a bay leaf, salt, and half a teaspoon of dried thyme. Now I've used ground thyme and so I used about half the amount as you would dry thyme since ground thyme is more potent than dry thyme. Two teaspoons of bottled sauce for gravy, which is kitchen bouquet. That's what it looks like these days. It was fairly easy to find. Three cups of water, a pound of small white onions, one pound of mushrooms, and a teaspoon of lemon juice. So go ahead and chop the beef into one inch cubes. If there's any fat on the beef, the recipe says for you to remove that since this is a lighter version of this dish. This dish is typically a lot heavier than this and has a lot more sauces and, and fat and such. But since this is the dieters, there's leaner beef and not as much alcohol. Once you've chopped that, add it to your flour and evenly coat it in the flour. I always use way too much flour in the dish because I never know exactly how much I need. But you probably only need about a cup and a half of, of flour to mix it all together since there's not a huge amount of beef. Now over about medium, medium high heat, go ahead and add your butter, two tablespoons of the butter. Or I think it was probably about a tablespoon, I'm sorry. And then after that, go ahead and add the beef. And try to shake off as much flour as you can. And here's my husband's ooh beef shot that I made him keep in because it was just so funny. And so after that's done, go ahead and add the cognac. And as you can see, that bubbles up right away. And a lot of that alcohol is cooking out. Once that is settled down, go ahead and add the rest of your ingredients. Uh, the garlic. Kind of stir it around a little bit just so it gets a heads up on the cooking. Then the carrots. The celery. The onions. And as you can see, it's a lot easier to go ahead and prep all of these things ahead of time. And, but beforehand, so you can just add them all at once. Your seasonings and the water. And if you're smart, you would see that bottled sauce for gravy over there and you would add that right now as well. But I completely forgot about it even though it was sitting right in front of me and this was already in the oven before I realized it. And then I went back and added the bottled sauce for gravy. And what it does, bottled sauce for gravy, is just it makes it um, a darker color. Makes it look, I guess, prettier. So after that has been cooking for an hour and a half, then you're going to start prepping and cooking your onions and mushrooms. So add your onions to boiling salted water. And I used probably about a tablespoon or so of salt. And carefully add your onions in. This is, of course, boiling water. And to the mushrooms, we have the other tablespoon of butter. Go ahead and melt that. And then you have your daughter come in, who is an excellent mushroom stem chopper, and she adds in the mushroom stems. You don't have to chop them that fine. 
and then add the mushroom caps. And then after that, you're going to use about a teaspoon of lemon juice, which was about half of a lemon. And stir those around, and you're going to cook those for about 15 minutes till they're brown. And once the onions have cooked for about 20 minutes or till they're softened, we'll take the pot out of the oven and add those and the mushrooms to the cooked dish. So at this point it had cooked close to two hours. I wouldn't cook it any more than that just because it was um, if I would have cooked it any more it would have been too tough. It would have just disintegrated. At that point I added uh, flour and the water mixed together to thicken it up with more water. That was about two tablespoons of milk to a fourth of a cup of flour. And at this point you could simmer it a couple of minutes, go ahead and serve it, or you can stick it in the refrigerator once it's cooled down and serve it the next day, which is what I have done. Even though I didn't clean up those dishes on the other side, I promise this is the next day. I hope you guys enjoy this. It was very rich and very hearty. Enjoy.